commerce moves on wheels, and especially along railway tracks to the far corners of the earth. But as man expands his horizons, his world becomes more and more complex. Fortunately, man's ingenuity has always been able to cope with the increasing technical sophistication required to survive in business. Innovative mechanization and automation have become vital in an ever more competitive modern transport environment. One of the fastest growing and most challenging problems for the world's transport industries has been the mass routing of goods to thousands of destinations. The dual retarder provides a brilliant solution. In action here at Squirnet's Central Rand Marshalling Yard, the largest high-speed shunting yard in Africa, where it has been tested exhaustively since 1987 in actual day-to-day -day operation. Today, it is an essential part of Central Rand's sophisticated automatic routing and shunting system, which is widely admired in the world of transport. This marshalling yard features many sophisticated refinements. Trains arrive from various destinations on two incoming lines to the receiving yard. From here, locomotives push the trains at a constant speed of three feet per second over a gradient, which we call the hump, from where the wagons begin to accelerate by natural gravitation downhill. From here, the automatic shunting process leaves designated trucks to a total of 64 routing lines, which makes it possible to make up 64 trains at the same time. As the various wagons, ranging from 16 to 80 tons, go over the hump, they're uncoupled before they begin to accelerate downhill. Truck numbers are registered automatically by means of an electronic eye, which is coupled to the main computer in the control room. This computer controls the automatic routing process and it switches each truck to its correct destination line so that all the trucks coming down a gradient from the hump can be rearranged into different train combinations in the classification section of the yard. It is, of course, vital that the speed of the trucks going down the hill should be controlled. If they go too fast, Wear and tear and accident damage will increase and maintenance costs will escalate accordingly. And this is where the Jewel Retarder comes into the picture. Developed jointly by Spornet and Jewel's Engineering, the Jewel Retarder controls truck speed at a constant 17 feet or 3 meters per second. Like all great inventions, the Jewel Retarder is simplicity itself. Here at Central Rand, it works on much the same principle as other retarders, but its design is unique and more effective. It has a lower initial installation cost, more effective automatic speed control, and it reduces maintenance costs significantly. The wheels of the truck pass over the dual retarders, and in the idling mode, which is below a preset speed, the unit remains deactivated so that the truck keeps on accelerating. However, when the preset speed limit is exceeded, the increased pressure on the unit activates a system which translates the increased pressure to a retarding action. And it's as simple as that. As the wheels begin to move faster, more units come into operation to keep the truck at a constant speed. If the truck slows down, the system is deactivated. The Jules Retarders then idle automatically which allows the truck to keep on moving at the preset speed. The dual retarders are manufactured under highly controlled conditions, starting with a receipt and inspection of the materials. The raw stock is carefully checked for quality before it's released to the manufacturing process. These materials are specially manufactured for Jules engineering in South Africa. The components are manufactured to strict specifications on high-tech equipment, while the latest technology is used in the machining process. The Quality Assurance Department plays an important role throughout the manufacturing process, and only when they are completely satisfied do they give their approval.
orders are then sent off to be packaged and dispatched to clients like Scrumet at Central Ramp. At Central Ramp, the mechanical maintenance and assembly plant spot checks the components once again and prepares them for the pre-selected speed and energy settings. The units then go to the hydraulically operated test rigs where different speed and energy extraction settings are obtained. Once the piston unit is assembled into the sliding cylinder or sleeve, it's filled with oil and charged with nitrogen gas which allows the sliding cylinder to return to the original setting after it has been activated during normal operation. The final stringent test before a unit is mounted onto the rail is conducted here, where a statistical sampling of each batch of retired units is selected for specific speed and energy settings. A heavy truck is hauled up an incline to roll down over the selected retarder units. The results of the tests are calibrated and a computer printout reveals to the informed eye how the units have stood up to the test. Only after it passes this test is the batch cleared for actual installation in the yard. Completed units are now bolted to the rails and ready for action. In a yard with the specifications of central land, the two retarder units are capable of handling a cut of up to five wagons, with a total mass load of 400 tons at a constant hump speed of 17 feet per second. From this level, the speed is then reduced to three feet per second to ensure safe wagon coupling, while central land has opted for about three and a half feet and 17 feet per second as its operational speed limits. These speeds can naturally be preset to any limit required by the design of any specific marshalling yard. So, why should you invest in the jewel retard? Here are several very good reasons. One, it is a superior design ensuring quick turnaround time through the safe and efficient handling of trucks and their goods. Two, the raw materials are superior and quality control is exacting so that you know you can rely on what you're getting for your money. Efficiency and safety are the constant watchwords. Three, initial installation costs in South Africa, for instance, are 30% lower than can be achieved with comparable systems. Maintenance costs are much lower than can be achieved by comparable systems of wagon speed control, while productivity and reliability are unrivaled. Because of the dual retarder's unique design, the reaction speed achieves maximum energy extraction from the moving truck for each operating cycle. The result is that fewer retarder units are required to do the job. And finally, the system does not need highly skilled labor to maintain it, so you will save money on maintenance. The jewel of Africa is rugged and totally reliable. In fact, data from regular operations at Central Rand proves that it can absorb more than one million continuous rail wagon impacts without requiring undue maintenance. What more can you ask for? Well, you can ask for the jewel of Africa. The rail transporter's rugged, rootin' tootin' friend. <laughs>